Hello there, kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Resident Evil 2. Alrighty, when we left off, we had uh, explored a little bit more of the east side of the lab and discovered it is a hellscape of annoying shenanigans <laughs> and bullshit. Uh, we got a little more ammo, we got a little more... Zambambo murder. We discovered the plant Zambambos, which is terrifying. But uh, <laughs> we also ran into a couple liquors when I thought they were gone. So uh, that was not as fun. Also, hi there. Glad to see you're alive and well. Just Come on. Go away. Yes. Fall down for me, please. That's all she wrote. And that has dealt with that one. Good. Good, 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 good. Now, the solution that I have in my hands, I can't use because it needs to be cold. We were able to make the solution that should kill a good portion of the plants in our way. But, unfortunately, it needs to be at a colder temperature. Which I believe I have to go this way to accomplish. Back down here. Technically, I didn't have to take this long route. But, I decided, you know what? Gonna do it anyway. Murph, huh? Uh, use? Oh, so it's not set for that. Um, examine. Um, oh. This is unique. Wait, I found it. All right, that's all I need to do, I guess. Put it at that. And that should let it work. Beautiful. Murph. Done. And now the power's back. Okay. I guess that's how this is going to work. I uh, should probably equip the handgun. Because I do not have enough, shot enough shotgun shells. Oh, I can go into the server room. Nice. Awesome. And I have another combat knife. Fuck yeah. I just got the spare one. Now I have a spare spare. Fuck yeah. Alright. Put that away. <laughs> just because I don't need it quite yet. Oh. Uh, and another fuel tank. Hells yes. I'm now up to 300. I can deal with bugging all the Zambambos. That are plant-based. <laughs> and only that. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could deal with other ones too. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to use it on that. Ah, I should do a safety save. Just a quick safety save. Whoops. Helps if I hit the right buttons. There we go. Quick safety save because now I have the server room at my disposal. And I should also go into the cold temp area now that I've dealt with the liquors. Okay, so this little area doesn't have lights. Fuck me, I guess. Liquors are dealt with. I can go into here. Awesome. Oh, why aren't the lights back on in here? I'm not allowed nice things, I guess. When am I ever allowed nice things? 
Um, I see a lot of surfaces for things to be sitting for me, but I do not see a lot of things for me. That makes me sad. That makes me a sad tiger. You are going to come back alive and Welcome be a problem back, for me. Dr. Lee. You have five new messages. Do I? Good to know. Wayne Lee's inbox. Okay. Rick Mendoza. What's he up to? Can you believe that bastard Cartwright? Cool your jets, asshole. Well, I guess he is the boss. For now. Anyway, have you seen my helix anywhere? I put the secret on the bottom. Let me know if you find it. Yeah, I found it. And I used it. Thank you, Rick Mendoza, for that wonderful little hint that otherwise I wouldn't have been able to solve that little thing for. Byron Cartwright. Busy guy, huh? So, you couldn't make our little meeting? Fine, don't worry about the greenhouse inspection. Instead, I'll give you something real simple to do. Put together the budget estimate for the year after next, and get it done tonight. Jeez. That sucks. Rick Mendoza, are you alive? We're under attack. People are dead. The east area is cut off. We can't operate the bridge with the wristbands we have here. Where's that bastard Cartwright hiding? Rick Mendoza, please reply. Plan 43 is going wild. The greenhouse is hell. We need to send someone in there before it's too late. Wayne, how do we stop this thing? You have to help us. Please reply. No subject from Rick Mendoza. Do you remember Susie, the cheerleader? What a great gal. We were both into her. Of course, she wasn't into nerds. <laughs> I still have to give you back those comics and games I borrowed. But you might have to wait a while. Yeah, they're going to be waiting for quite a while. Because I'm sure both of them are dead. Well, I know Wayne is. Ugh. Not so sure about Rick. Who left the freezer open? Uh, all of them? Because they're dead? Okay. Oh, this is how I cool it. Probably make sure I loot the area first. Speak of the devil. Some things I needed. Low temp cooling. Oh, you're a Zambambo for sure. You're going to come back and make my life hell. For sure. Um, I'm just going to see if there's anything else before I move on to the thing because I have a feeling I have a feeling that I'm going to be in trouble the moment I put that in and I guess there's nothing else okay put that in Standing by. Beginning process. Cooling sequence in progress. Okay. That was quick. What, they dip it in liquid nitrogen? What the fuck? I guess the answer is probably yes. Okay. Dispense dispersal cartridge. Dispensal cartridge is about what about to be what I said, but it was close enough. Uh, herbicide. Put that there. Cooling Good. Complete. Awesome. Good to hear. And that clears the room. Awesome. Not gonna go near that guy. The other Zambambo's probably alive now though. Nope. Not yet anyway. Give her a second. She'll be up. Or not. Cool. Okay. Cool. I think I've cleared the area now. Nice. Should probably go up the stairs now. Now that I've cleared that out and everything. And it is a faster way. There we go. Is there any? No, there wouldn't be. What am I thinking? 
Okay, why is the music getting all creepy again? Oh, joy, there's more of you. Hi there, bud. You go down, please. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay. I'm gonna reload it with a little bit more fuel. Okay. Go through here. Do I have anything I can't really carry? Not really. I can get that a gunpowder I put away. And make some more shotgun ammo. Which, boy, do I desperately need it. Okay. Cool. Bam. Alright. Put that... Whoop, hit the right button first. Put that over there. Beautiful. And then we move into here. The presentation room. Where everything's gone to shit. That's dealt with. That's dealt with. All right. I don't like that I saw it saving in the top left corner. I don't like that. It makes me think something's going to happen, which it is. Dispensing solution now. Oh, look at it die. Oh, there goes the chip. That did the trick. Yep. Now it's just. Warning. You have dispersed a dangerous solution without authorization. Uh huh. Your actions have been blocked, and you may be subject to disciplinary measures. Sounds good. Sounds like what I wanted. Electronic chip. Perfect. Combine. Make me senior staff. Beautiful. Also, this guy is not changed at all. What? What? Shit. Him again? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What the shit. Oh joy. More of you. Wonderful. Okay. Well. Goodbye to you. All right. How is he still alive? How is he still alive? Okay. All right. Okay. I might need this. Come on. Yeah, I'm out of ammo. I wanted to make sure he's dead. And... Okay. Well, guess there's nothing else I can do. Wait, again? He's already up again? Fucking. All right. Okay. Well, I'm screwed. Okay, well. Put that away again. Uh, put this here. Um, sort. I need the combat knife again. Because I lost the other one. With the first guy. Cool. Alright, I'm very much going to need a safety save here. Very, very much. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Um, oh, I need to go back to that computer. Fuck me. Okay, well. Byron Cartwright's inbox. High priority. 
from William Birkin. When did Nest become a nest for spies? Ha 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 ha. Three last month and another four this month. And those are just the ones we caught. Step up security, Cartwright, or do you want to end up like your predecessor? Also, I'll be restricting access to the West Area from today. Ignore all requests from headquarters for information, information, information on G. Those suits contribute nothing to this project anyway. Jeez. No reply, auto-generated mail. Oh, that was from me. Herbicide dispersal by unauth unauth unauthorized employee detected in the east area. Oh, so that must be the time I did it. 4.51 in the morning. Huh. Oh, it shows access granted. Well, hi there, bud. Glad to see you're still kicking around. Alright, well. Go through here. Head back. There is a way you can kill Tyrant, right? There is a way you can kill Mr. X. Isn't there? I could swear there is. There has to be. Because it seems like something that you should be able to do if you know what you're doing. I just don't know what I'm doing. Okay, now I can go into the west area. Hopefully the G samples up here. Or at least a way to get to it. Okay. Swap to my normal pistol. Oh joy. Lab digital video cassette. Okay. Oh, this should be safe. This should be safe for now. Um, oh, I passed a grenade while I was on my way here, too. That's embarrassing. Alright, cool. And it's just make sure this is set for us. Okay. Let me do that. There we go. Perfect. And then we put in us. Beautiful. And now we have power. Perfect. Um, I do not have everything that's in this room. Let me check it before I do anything. Ooh. There we go. That's a thing. And that's the only thing. Okay. I was hoping for some more ammo, but I guess that works. Sure. Why not? Uh, mixed herbs. I have a fuck ton of. Do not need the grenade right now. I guess I'll play the tape. Actually, let me investigate it real quick. Uh, salmon. Operation Nest Wrecker. Okay. Got eyes on the G virus. Okay. Dr. Birkin, you come along Sneaky. quietly. You think I didn't know you were coming? This is my life's work. I'm not handing over anything. We have our orders, Dr. Birkin. 
I'll ask you one more time. Hold your fire! He did pull a gun. So the guy in the videotape fucked it up. So those were G samples. Seems like it. So Birkin, William Birkin, the guy who created it, very much wanted to protect his work. Understandable. Pulled a gun when faced with multiple armed goons. He should have known at that point that is a bad, bad move to pull. That said, apparently they were supposed to bring him in alive. It would have been a simple matter to disarm him if someone moved quickly enough. Especially since he's a scientist with no real training with weapons in general, he easily would have been fucked up. Of course, in the moment, you're not thinking that. You're thinking, gun, neutralize. Makes sense. At the same time, that still would not go well. Especially with superiors. And that's presumably why everything went south. Because Birkin's still kicking as the big old G-Virus monster dude. So if he had not killed him, a lot of the events that would have happened in this game, a lot of the events happening currently in this game would not have happened. So... It kind of was that guy's fault. But in a way that I can at least understand it happening. Doesn't make it okay. <laughs> but. Eh. That's how it goes sometimes. William Birkin's inbox. Jane Doyle suspending research on G. So it was suspended and he was just working on it by himself anyway? Or he was taking it so he could continue it? Maybe that was why he was putting it in that briefcase. The Umbrella Corporation has decided to cease all research on G, which was ongoing at the Nest Underground Facility. A laboratory, rather. All funding for this project has been cut and laboratory director William Birkin has been removed from his post. Sender B.E. Thank you for your mail, Dr. Birkin. Top Brass has expressed an interest in this evolving bioweapon you mentioned. Do not worry about costs. Our company is the most well-funded in the whole of the United States. Richard Kessler. Why does that name sound familiar? I've heard the good news. G is almost ready. Strange you never thought to report it to the research lab here at Umbrella HQ, but I suppose I can let that slide. Anyway, send over the data, would you? So Jane Doyle suspended research after it got a new benefactor, or maybe before. And don't worry, you've done good work on G, but we can take care of the rest.
Oh. Jane Doyle loaded notice of admonishment. You are under suspicion of breaching your contract with the Umbrella Corporation. It has become clear that you have claimed ownership of the G project and have been in unauthorized contact with the U.S. military. Please respond to the investigation committee's summons within 24 hours. So, the U.S. was getting into some dirt, surprise, surprise, and grabbing, well, U.S. military, I should clarify, and trying to grab a very obviously illegal bioweapon from William Birkin, who claimed ownership of G because it was his life's work and his work alone, especially since the company pulled all research and funding into G. Apparently, it was then discovered that that was what he was doing, and then the company says, no, 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 fuck that. You're not doing that without our say-so. So then they sent the goons, and then all of the events in the videotape happened. Ooh. Okay, then. That, uh, that can't be good. That can't be good at all. Bioreactors room. Oh, there's stuff in here. I just don't know where it is. Oh, well, there's one. Hey! Some more ammo. Okay. Some more possible ammo, I should say. Uh, we can discard this tape since we don't need it anymore. Is that all that was in here? Yes, it's all that was in here. And it is decontaminating me. Making me all clean. I wonder if I stay in here long enough it can clean off all the gunk that's on my uh, uniform. No, no, I can't. Oh, well. We tried. This is absolutely a boss arena. Someone's going to make a surprise appearance here. That is what's going to happen. I'm going to immediately have to turn around and go through that and it's going to go badly. Hello, big creepy eyeball, big creepy arm, and whatever the fuck this is. Sure. Absolutely. I could always use more. Oh boy. Okay. I am now in the heart of crazy. I am now directly in the middle of Crazy Town, USA. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh -huh. That is where I get the virus from. That is absolutely where I get it from. Research diary. Subject 449. After the G embryo was implanted in the subject, we made a 50 centimeter incision from the chest to the abdomen began our observations. 
that's a pretty wide slit. Well, wide, rather long. With the help of the medical team, the subject's consciousness level was kept between 15, lucid, GCS 10. However, the subject's consciousness level deteriorated and further observation was deemed unnecessary. The subject was then disposed of. So you just cut a motherfucker open after you put a fucking virus into them and then you watch them as they died on the table. Okay. Subject 501. The G-Virus was administered to Subject 501. G 501 mutated into G-Form and was introduced to a group of 30 test subjects. After 2 hours, 36 minutes, it was observed that all but one of the test subjects had been implanted with an embryo. All subjects were disposed of. One subject broke down during experimentation and took their own life. Five oh one started biting and whatnot, I guess. And Wow. Wow. That was breeding rate observations, growth observations. This is T virus resistance experimentation. We administered the G virus to subject 628, who had shown slight resistance to the T virus. The virus was then introduced to subject 639, with whom 628 had a close relationship. How close? 628 showed some signs of resistance, but had been implanted with an embryo after 24 minutes. T-virus resistance does not stop the mental deterioration caused by the G-virus. So the G-virus is like an upgraded version of the T-virus. Just extremely worse. Ooh, boy. Okay. We have learned some things. We have learned some things, and I don't like it. Ooh, lad. Oh, boy. Oh, and that's a wonderful touch in the background of the fucking typewriter there's a picture of Birkin and presumably the wife and kid oh, joy oh boy oh boy <laughs> I'm gonna end the episode today and uh, I'm gonna go and forget that uh Let me go and forget that this is a semi-fucked up story. <laughs> mm. My oh my. Alright. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. It sounded like I said bing, but I meant bring. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to wrap my head around the events of Resident Evil 2 and how it went to the place it did. And it all makes a lot more sense and it could have been easily avoided. A very easily avoided tragedy. Fuck. For you.